guys, welcome back to my channel, Confessions of a Dollar Tree Addict. We're gonna be doing a huge Dollar Tree haul, huge. I know that I say that every time, but this one I'm gonna try to pack in as many items as I can because I have to like pack for Christmas, like actually pack my family's gifts up for Christmas and there's a lot of stocking stuffers and stuff in here. I have to ship things out. Things are chaotic. It's getting closer and closer to um, the end of the season where I'm crazy busy. So I'm just going to get right into this haul and hopefully get through a lot of these items that I really need to use. The first thing that I want to share with you guys is I picked up this popcorn bucket. I love to pick this up. You guys know that over the course of the year, I do buy a bunch of DVDs from the Dollar Tree. And I love to send my brother who actually watches because he's like a hunter and he goes to he lives in upstate New York in the mountains, but he actually goes even further upstate off the grid and um, it doesn't have Wi-Fi or like Internet. It, he gets like DVDs and he just watches them because it has electricity. So I always like to collect DVDs for my brother, which I have a ton um, that I'm going to add into this basket. And I when I found this item like a, over a month ago, probably eight weeks ago, but I just have not had a chance to haul it. I was like, oh, yeah, that's going in my brother's um, basket. And I just think that this thing is so cute. So I picked up two of them, one for me, and I'm so happy I'm finally hauling it so I can use it because I just think it is adorable for exactly these types of purposes, uh, making a really cute basket or just doing some kind of cute spiel. But um, some of the things that I like to do when I make baskets like this, first of all, this is a ginormous plastic tub that you can use for so many things. He will definitely use this. He'll probably make himself buckets of, of popcorn. He does actually love popcorn. But I like to pick up these bags. And they're in the essentials section, the popcorn bags. I always buy a lot of them. I think that these are really great to use for all sorts of things. First of all, they're red and white. So they're already kind of festive. I feel like they have like a Christmas or summer or 4th of July. They're like amazing to pack things in. Now, I know a lot of people say take the labels off of everything. I'm lazy, you guys. Everything that's going to go in this basket, I have a few bags of this. Um, things that I just feel like match, like I picked up some of the Mrs. Fields chocolate chip cookies. I'll leave those just like that. And some things are going to hide in here. I'm going to let all of the DVD show. I did pick up this Comedy Plus Blackness to the Nerd Power, Marina Franklin. Oh, she has my name. Baron Vaughn, Eric Andre, Hannibal Burgess, and Victor Varnado. Victor Varnado. Um, it says the awkward comedy show extended no holds barred version of the hilarious stand up performance documentary. Now, I absolutely know my brother's going to love this DVD. It looks I love comedy DVDs. Anytime I see any kind of comedy DVD at the Dollar Tree, I pick it up. It's 80 minutes. That's a great buy where somewhere where you don't have any cable. Why not? Why not laugh? So and I also these are these are just some of the latest DVDs that I picked up recently. I do have a bunch of DVDs for him that I might even put on the bottom instead of putting tissue paper to put the things up more because uh, I am going to be shipping it. Uh, this one is a five drive-in classics on DVDs and it's Roger Corman drive-in collection featuring Beast from Haunted Cave, The Wild Ride, The Fast and the Furious, that's the original. T-Bird Gang, High School Big Shot, starring Jack Nicholson in one of them, John Ireland, Tony Miller, and more. So I know that he's going to think that that's really entertaining, for sure. He's going to definitely, absolutely. This is like a really good buy. Five old classic movies, you know, when you're in the boonies, hunting. I know he'll love it. Then, um... I always get him peanuts from the Dollar Tree and honey roasted peanuts. And I do have like a, a jar of salted. I mean, this is a great buy for a dollar. These taste great. Um, it is a seven and a half ounce bottle. I got him the salted kind too. He loves those. Um, I got him a bunch of Slim Jims that I'm going to throw in there. 
the um, Double Bubble Big Bar. Him and my son absolutely love this gum. These were new to my Dollar Tree, and then I realized I had not seen them before at the Dollar Tree. I've seen these in Dollar General before, and these are by the, the Cookie Collection, but this flavor happens to be Cocoa Cream Filling, and honestly, I can't buy these fast enough. Christopher absolutely loves them, but I stowed this pack away so that I can send it to my brother because they have similar palettes. Um, and I did also pick up the salted caramel and chocolate cookies. These are really delicious. These are also sold at Dollar General normally. The cookie collection, salted caramel and chocolate cookies. And they're also delicious. I think my brother's really going to like these with a cup of coffee. He's going to love them. The boys in my family all love combos. So I picked up a bunch of combos for my son, my husband, and my brother because they absolutely love them. These just happen to be cheddar cheese baked pretzel flavor. I mean, they usually get all different flavors of combos. Over the course of the year, they get all different flavors of combos, but that's just what they had right now, the cheddar cheese baked pretzel flavor. Um, I did pick these up the other day in my walkthrough, the Scrumptious Wafer Rolls Chocolate Cream Filled. These are amazing. Amazing. Anything by Scrumptious is delicious. The, the name says it all. These are so good. So good. So good. Then um, I, I picked up a few of these for us and for my brother. The hazelnut cream filling. Let me show you guys what they look like because, you know, sometimes when you see them in the box, you don't know what you're really getting. I don't think it's a bad deal for a dollar and a quarter. I mean, now that the prices have gone up, I do think that we have to rethink sometimes the food finds because they're not all worth it. And they do usually get the pyroline in or sometimes they already, I think some stores already have them with the tin can, but I was going to, I was no matter what, I was going to try the scrumptious ones. And then I went back and got more because so far scrumptious brand has never been a letdown. So this is what they look like. They're not as long as the pyroline ones in the can. So you kind of may eat less of them. You get quite a few in here. One, two, three, four. You get 24 of this size. And you could also put these at the top of the whipped cream in your hot cocoa. I feel like the scrumptious hazelnut filling is better than the pyroline. Believe it or not. It's so full and like really creamy. They're amazing. Really delicious. I haven't tried the chocolate, but the hazelnut are to die for. If you see these hazelnut cream filled scrumptious cookies in your Dollar Tree, definitely, definitely pick them up. They are absolutely delicious, guys. And they also come in chocolate cream filled. They are creamier than pyroline. Really, there's a ton of hazelnut cream inside of them crispier these are so good that i can't believe how delicious they are <clears throat> so the reason that i was showing you guys this is because a lot of the items that are in the basket i'm gonna just drop into these popcorn bags so it will look really cute when it's all done i mean it's just so simple and really, I think it always comes out looking adorable. I've done it year after year. The Dollar Tree, when the Dollar Tree sells these, I pick up like 10 or 15 of them because I love, love to give people baskets like this throughout the year. And I just think that they're so adorable, like the cookies. I mean, obviously he's not getting that pack, but when I put it into the basket, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it nicely. And I'm going to tape it down and maybe I'll put like a bow. If it was going to a lady, I would not to be sexist, but I would more than likely put bows. But my brother's not a bow kind of guy. So, yeah, I like to put them like in the basket like that. And then you'll have it. it it's just so cute. When you have it all said and done, it really comes out looking very like. First of all, he don't, he won't know everything that's in here. And I did get, it just comes out looking really cute year after year. I love to do that. 
And you could do a basket like this with anything. It doesn't have to have food. It could be like beauty products. But I just think that the popcorn theme is really adorable and I love it. And I do like to give people DVDs that watch DVDs because I do go to Dollar Tree a lot and I know what they like to watch. Um, the photo booth props thing, I'm sending it to him just in case he decides to have some kind of... He probably won't do it, but maybe when we go up to see him, we'll do it with him because that's the only way I'll get him to use it. But he'll like it. He'll think it's cool. And he'll be like, my sister knows I'm not using this. But I'm putting it in the basket anyway because I like it. And I think it makes the basket really fun. And the see what I'm saying? Like, once you start putting everything in these popcorn bags, it's just, first of all, you have a bunch of things to unwrap. And it's fun. And you could drop, I bought some of these Fierro's Chili Lime flavored chips. My son loves these too. But you can fit so many things in these bags you wouldn't believe so like this bag of chips it fits just fine in this bag so nothing's not gonna match and it makes my life really easy because i'm not one to like i'm just not that person i think it's super easy peasy you just wrap everything up put in the basket so once you set it all up with the bags and stuff it really does look awesome and this year, this item really put it up over the top. I should have bought more. In fact, when I see these, I think I'm going to buy a bunch of them and just to stow them away. Because I love the idea of adding them to baskets of anything. I mean, you could put shampoo, conditioner, toiletries, anything you want in this kind of basket. And then you just put the name of the person who's getting it. But I just usually like to do it movie and snack themed because I think it's like a fun Wait a, but you can put anything in here, anything you want. I just think that I love, this is my go-to way to wrap things that are of this nature. I just love it. It works time and time again. And even at a dollar and a quarter, I don't think this tub is a bad deal. And then I picked up this DVD, The Blue Planet, Seas of Life, Seasonal Seas, Coral Seas. And it has all kinds of sharks. And I have a friend who, um has a grandson who loves, loves sharks and stuff like this, so I picked it up for her. Then, the other day in my walkthrough, you saw that I found a couple, and when I say a couple, I mean like one and two of these in one of my Dollar Trees, and I'm assuming that they were closeouts from Dollar Tree Plus because it says clearance $1. I don't know, but um, yeah, I don't know. I have no idea what they were doing there, but I'm really happy that I found them. I've seen this one before, the uh, Superfoods Clay Mask Sticks. I have seen it before, and I was delighted to see it again because um, it's a good product. It's really cool. I'm going to show you guys what it looks like. You get these cute, I mean, I just think it's awesome, and it shows like what they're for on the back it says what they're for um the avocado and hemp seed is for moisturizing the um acai blueberry and goji berry is for energizing and the oatmeal almond and flaxseed is for soothing and it even suggests like where to place the different colors it gives you like a suggestions but i've i already have this and i think that it's first of all an awesome deal see how it comes like ultra sealed so what I like to do with these, if you find them, is I like to go in the bathtub and wash my face and do everything else I'm going to do and then moisten my skin and then put it all over. And then as I'm doing all the other stuff in the bathroom, like shaving my legs, you get it. Um, it works. My pores are all open. And then I rinse it out. So they're kind of like fast face regimen i actually love face sticks for that i've bought them from korean beauty in the past and through k beauty and the dollar tree had some from saint ives a, a few years ago that i loved 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 i don't know if you guys remember those but they're just so convenient to do like facial cleansing on the go and you know it doesn't hurt it, it's always good to do skin regimen whenever you can and if you don't have a lot of time, these make it easier. So I'm really excited to have found a few more. I would have loved 
to have gotten my hands on a ton of these, but it didn't happen. But you know what? Now that the Dollar Tree raised its prices, maybe they will bring more. I don't know. I don't know what's bringing them in, trickling them in. I, I have no idea, but it was a very pleasant find. Then I found these three packs, Feeling Good Facial Oils, and it is Tea Tree and Lavender, Rose Hip Oil, and Evening Primrose, Honey and Tiger Grass. So you get three different facial oils for a buck. I don't know how much this was before, maybe $3. I'm going to assume it was $3. And it says um, that it's good for him or her. But the So Fresh, So Clean line, it is by Global Beauty Care, which is not a Dollar Tree brand. And I love Global Beauty Care. And I have to say that um, face oils are great. They're really great. Anytime you can moisturize, like I said, you guys, I mean it when I say these things. Calm and Collected is for the Tea Tree and Lavender. Rose and Ready, Rose Hip Oil Evening Primrose. So that actually is good for nighttime for like older skin. And um, Renew and Repair is the Tiger Grass and Honey. You can't go wrong. All of these are great. I can't wait to use them. And see, they're like, it's so worth the dollar, you guys. It really is. I mean, this is something that regularly is a dollar at the Dollar Tree. Tea tree oil that they have right now at the Dollar Tree, and this is by Global Beauty Care, which makes me even happier, is a buck for one bottle. So I got three bottles for a dollar. Great score. I love it. Can't wait to use these. I have been wanting these for a while, so I'm thrilled that I got them. The next item, I picked this up a while ago. I just have not hauled it. And I actually have three of each. Um, I had to, to be honest, I had to get them in several different Dollar Trees because they. this is not a set. It comes in the Cookies for Santa collection. And it's hard to find three plates and three mugs in one store. But I go to multiple Dollar Trees and I was able to score three, which is all I wanted. I just wanted to have a set for like... I don't know dessert or whatever I just love them so much I really just wanted to have three for one I mean if we're having like a lunch or whatever I'll decide when we use these little plates dessert or lunch sandwich and the I just love them I mean it says have yourself a merry little Christmas but I can use them all winter I don't care and I've been dying to start using them to be honest I think they're so beautiful it's really hard the Dollar Tree has so many beautiful beautiful dishes and dinnerware they're great for gifting if you know someone that needs a set like this get those red plates you know you guys know the plates I'm talking about but they look amazing together absolutely love these and just the detail in it they even have a little the weather vane on top of the barn it's so pretty you can't help but fall in love with them then I did pick these signs up. I love these signs. They're really well made. Good tidings of comfort and joy. And it does have like a little wood band around it. It's actually faux cardboard wood, but it looks like wood. And I love things that have the word joy and the holly. Oh, I love, love, love the holly. That's what sold me on them. Well, everything about them sold me on them. But I like to hang these on doorknobs. I just think it's a cute way to like decorate your door without going crazy, good tidings of comfort and joy, or believe in the magic of Christmas, also beautiful. And if you have those like older fashioned windows that have the little metal thing that sticks out, you can hang these on your windows in like bedrooms or wherever, or like closet doors, just, or like if you have like a china closet that has a knob, you can hang it on that. There's so many places you can hang these and just, it just takes it into like a holiday festive spirit without doing pretty much anything. I love that. The next two signs that the Dollar Tree put out, they just keep giving us nicer and nicer signs after we've already bought so many. So they're doing it on purpose. I've like made a decision. I'm not buying signs at the beginning of the year anymore. The holiday season only in the end. Look at this. Jeez. Believe in the magic of Christmas with these snowflakes and this faux looking wood and this little embellishment of silver cuteness. It's so simple, but gorgeous. 
like really gorgeous. I feel like you could do something else with these. I don't know what, but I, they're just so really, really high end looking. Aren't they really nice? So beautiful. I sincerely love these. This one says all is calm, all is bright. And I bought both of them. I actually do have um, a cabinet here that I purchased recently to keep all of my stash in. <laughs> and uh, I use some of those, the little teeny tiny, teeny tiny command hooks that they're not command hooks. They're like Dollar Tree command hooks and they hold up to two pounds. So I usually just um, hang seasonal signs on them so that you know, people can't really see what's inside, but I do have like the essentials woven baskets in, as you can see, and I have all of the stuff, the makeup mostly, or the littles that I buy, the hair accessories and things like that, that I have for various, whatever I have them for. I don't have enough to give away to the shelters yet, but I collect them and sometimes I get, sometimes I just give them as gifts, but I cover the glass part with the signs and I think that they're really pretty and they're really distressed. They look really cool there. And it's just something I do. It's just another place that I could put a sign, basically, because there are so many beautiful signs that I just had to buy these too. But they look weathered. And so does this piece of furniture. It's like distressed. So I really like how they kind of look on it. I bought these so long ago and they were in the bottom of one of my haul bags. And I thought I lost them, honestly. But I have not seen this color since that day. And they're so pretty. Honestly, these cotton towels that the Dollar Tree makes, the hand towels and the washcloths, they wash really well. I don't know if you guys have tried them out, but they come out really soft and absorbent. I, I just wish that, you know what? If I ever make it to a Dollar Tree Plus and they have bigger towels in this like cheapy, I like this stuff. It's super absorbent. So if they have like for $5 a big bath towel, I would so buy it. Because I think it's my favorite type of like pool towel, this absorbent, cheapy fabric. But I've never been to a Dollar Tree Plus yet. Um, these were just a dollar because I did buy them a long time ago. But this color is so, so, so beautiful. I literally love it. And I actually bought them on purpose to use as hand towels in my bathroom because I feel like they're darker, darker blue than I usually keep in my bathroom. And it's perfect for the holiday season. They're like almost green. I don't know. I just really like them. And for four bucks, they're perfect. I can put some ornaments on the hook, like a seahorse ornament or something like that and zhuzh it up a little and make it look like Christmas aquatic-y, but on a super cheap budget, four bucks, perfect towels. I picked up all of these. Actually, I didn't pick up everything. Now, I didn't know that Cold Dapper was a brand name and I still am questioning it but when I look online there seem to be some cold dapper products that are brand name being sold in stores I don't know where this brand is sold like where is it sold does anybody out there know because I sincerely had never heard of it and then um, a few of my subscribers said that it's a brand name but I've never seen brand name items in the last minute gift boxes at the Dollar Tree those are generally always items that are made by Greenbrier. So I was shocked and I still am. So let's smell this stuff and see what the deal is with it because I don't know about this. I'm I'm really, I am i don't know. I don't believe it. I, I It's true, but I don't believe it. So let's check it out. Um, so this is the Cold Dapper Aftershave Balm. Sandalwood scented. I'm going to open it and give it a whiff. See? I normally love sandalwood. It's not, it's not very liquidy, but it's also not super thick. It's like, I guess it's probably, it's after shave bomb. So it's, It's a little sticky. After you put it on, it's a little sticky. And it doesn't really smell like sandalwood. 
The aftershave balm is a little sticky and I don't love the scent of it. I have to be honest. It's not sandalwoody enough for me. But um, then there's a hand cream. Let's try the hand cream. I actually bought this entire set for myself because I just wanted to, I wanted to get a good look at it and see what the deal is with it because everyone said it was a brand name. So I wanted to check it out for myself. So this is the hand cream. I'm going to show you guys an up close of them in a second, but it does not really smell like sandalwood. I can't put my finger on what it smells like. All right, so it's supposed to smell like sandalwood and what? Maybe it smells like, it says sandalwood scented. It smells nice. It doesn't smell bad. It doesn't smell super manly. It doesn't superly smell. Okay, so the hand cream is also sticky. I mean, it's okay. This is definitely not my favorite item that I've picked up at the Dollar Tree. I hate to say it, um, but it's not bad. It's it's definitely not horrible. I just was expecting so much more since everyone said that it was an expensive product. The hand lotion is okay. It's okay. It's a little sticky, but then it, it gets sucked into your skin. So I did get the cream bath rejuvenating. Um, basically, it's like bubble bath, but they're trying to call it something nice for men. And the liquid is not this color, just the bottle is. The bottle is actually nice. The packaging is fantastic. Um, the hand cream is two and a half ounces, so that's not bad. It does have a nice light scent. It's like lightly sandalwood scented. It's not super, definitely not a killer over scented fragrance. Just a little bit sticky. And I did pick up the aftershave balm. Because everybody shaves. It doesn't have to be specifically men's. But um, I think on the box it says men's last minute gifts. Which is why everyone was saying they're men's. I love the color and the packaging so much of this set. A lot. But I'm not too sure that I absolutely love the product. It does have that print in the back. Kind of like it is made for Greenbrier. I don't know you guys. Sometimes the Dollar Tree pulls these sneaky ones on us. I'm not sure. I'm really not sure. But I've wanted to test it out and let you guys know what my thoughts on it were. Um, I, I think the hand lotion is nice. It's a little sticky. The aftershave balm is definitely sticky. Maybe aftershave balm is supposed to be sticky. I don't know. But it's not the greatest product I've ever, ever tried from the Dollar Tree. But it does look really nice. I don't, I don't know, you guys. I'm not... I'm not certain how I feel about these. I definitely love the packaging. So for the packaging alone, I say that it's worth the three or three seventy five to make a little gift basket out of them. Uh, the scent is light. It's not super manly. So everyone was saying that these are men's, but I think that they're gender fluid. You could go either way with these and um, they're a little bit sticky, but not horrible. I, I think that they're a pretty good product. The Dollar Tree has these huge boxes of Cocoa Pebbles crisps. We've tasted them. These taste like chocolate rice cakes and rice krispies. They're super crispy like a rice cake, but a little more flavorful than just a rice cake. So they're kind of like a rice crispy because they have super loaded chocolatey yumminess on them. Um, I did get quite a few because I plan on putting them in the stockings that I'm going to be filling for some of the shelters, and I'm going to be doing that actually after I'm done with this video. In the store that I bought them in, they had opened them and put them out, and the manager was in the process of taking them all and putting them back in the boxes, and I guess she was going to tape them up or something, maybe mark them down, and she saw that I was recording my video, and she was like, no, no, those are six for a dollar. So a lot of stores are not... Honestly, when you see something like that where it does not have a label for resale, you should bring it to the attention of the manager because they are not meant to be sold like that. So when something does not have a barcode for scanning, more than likely it wasn't supposed to be sold that way. And I like to bring it to the attention of the managers also because it's just not supposed to be sold like that. 
And I think that if, and I've seen a lot of that over the last couple of months, more than ever, the last few months. So if you're in the Dollar Tree and you see something and it doesn't have a barcode, I would ask because more than likely it's not the management's fault. A cashier or a stock person that has a million duties in the store was told to empty out a box and they just cut the box open and put it out, not thinking about what the deal is, and nobody's even noticed it. So more than likely, if it seems like it shouldn't be that way, like, see, this is the barcode, then it isn't supposed to be like that way. And maybe someone will fix it so that people aren't wasting their money because it's totally terrible when you could get six of these to have spent a dollar and a quarter for just one, that would be crazy. And I would hate for anybody to do that. And honestly, the Dollar Tree would hate for anybody to do that. So keep your eyes peeled for that. And actually six for a dollar or a dollar and a quarter is a great deal. I think I bought these when they were still a dollar. It was like maybe the day or the day before that it was price changing, but they're delicious. So if you see them, definitely grab up a box. The next items that I have to share with you guys, I didn't even know existed. I've been so busy that I probably missed people hauling them or I highly am dropping them everywhere, of course. I highly doubt that I'm like the first to find them. I never am. But I just didn't know they existed and I was so excited because look at how adorable these are. This one is um, Bob and how cute, 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 cute are these Minion morphed into cars Hot Wheels. I love them. I actually love the Minions. I think they're so adorable. And I know that a certain age group is going to love these. It would be so wonderful if I could gift each kid the whole set as, you know, a gift. But they're going to end up having to be stocking stuffers because you guys know that it's not possible to probably get like 20 or 30 sets of these at the Dollar Tree. But I was able to score a few sets and plus extras. So I'm just going to you know, donate them just like that. And kids can use them as stocking stuffers. Bob is, I think my favorite. Oh no, I what's, oh no, this one's my favorite, Stuart. Look at how cute that one is. It's just so adorable. I know that kids are gonna be like, oh my gosh, I want those. They're really cute. Then I do have the whole set. This is Kevin. Look at Kevin. Oh my gosh. Love, 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 love it. Love it. That's his little hair. It's not a spider. It's his like tuft of hair. You guys see that? Love Stuart. We have Otto. He's like a flatbed. Just so adorable. So cute. Then there's Carl. And I just think it's so cute. He's like a sports car. And then we have young Gru. Look at his car. Kids are going to love that one too. Look at the back of it. It's really adorable. And they're just like the characters morphed into cars. It's really, really a very cool thing if you have grandkids or kids of your own and you're lucky enough to pick these up and you know your kids are like i don't know i guess between like three and six they will love these love these if they've seen the minions movie they're just adorable you guys know there's no rhyme or reason to what i'm pulling out of the bags um these are by the brand Italian, and we've seen this brand before at the Dollar Tree, and everything by it is delicious, and these are no exception. They're really good. We already dug into the strawberry one, not this one, but another bag, and they're really yummy, and they're really bite-sized and cute just like that. They're the little square ones. I love these kind of vanilla wafers because you don't need to go overboard. You just need a couple, and you're good, and um, they do come in strawberry and vanilla absolutely love them they might have more flavors out there but i haven't seen them and they're a pretty bag so and it's seven ounces which is a good buy even a, at a i bought these for a dollar and a quarter so i have had to buy buy things at the higher price already and i had to really think about it like is this worth it but i think it's seven ounces it's a good deal and also great for a gift basket. If you're doing like a coffee oriented gift basket or something like that, the packaging is, it looks high end. And for a dollar and a quarter, it's not high end, but it tastes high end. And that's what matters. They do have a ton of these little teeny tiny gift basket kind of treats at the Dollar Tree right now. 
and I picked up this one. I had no need for the other ones, the tiny little jar jellies or anything. Although these jars are really good for doing DIYs with. They're adorable. Look at that little jar. Right then and there, it's cute to buy. But I did pick up this hot pepper jelly because I've never seen it before and I didn't know what it was for. And everybody wrote that it's good for making like a dip with cream cheese. So I figured I would try it because it sounds good actually. And like you put it on top of cream cheese and you eat it with crackers. So I'm going to Google it and test it out just to see. I mean, I like to try new things. I picked up some of these um, snow removal brush with scraper sets. They're great gifts. This one is the brush and the scraper in one. And I actually did pick up the just scraper as well because sometimes you need to have just the scraper to get into like certain areas when you're doing your car. But I think that these are absolutely great gifts to toss into a car related gift basket. If you live in an area like I do where it's beautiful one minute and snowing the next, you definitely need these. Just never know, you could be out in the store, all of a sudden you come out and your car is covered in snow, you pop open the trunk and you can clean the car off. So it's really good to have that. I picked um, these up, you get three for a dollar. Actually, my original plan was to put it here underneath my lantern on my wreath and maybe, maybe I'll, um, but then I ended up putting this Holly Jolly ornament in it, but maybe I will put it here. I, that's what I wanted to do with it. Wanted to put it in that wreath that has the lantern in it. Love that super rustic country wreath. And that's what I bought these for. But I mean, you could do anything you want with them. Uh, it says Merry Christmas and it, they're just super duper pretty. Really, really so nice. I get to open it and really take a good look at them because I just think that they're absolutely gorgeous. I'm sure that there are a million and one things you could do with them. They do look really good. It does. I don't know. I feel like it does look really good with the rustic-y. Doesn't it look really cute with that super rusticness of this? Uh, maybe I'll switch it up. I, I think I'm going to leave it in the wreath. I don't care if it looks like it's too much. I like it. That's what I bought it for. I might take the Holly Jolly ornament out. Some more little stocking stuffer kind of boring items that I picked up, but they're actually good buys, even at a buck and a quarter. Um, the Carmix Classic Lip Balm Medicated. This is like four bucks at the store. So at a dollar and a quarter, I will always, always get something like that at the Dollar Tree, even though it's a buck and a quarter tree now. Definitely a good deal. And it's a stocking stuffer for my husband. He loves that. And um, these earbuds. Now, most of the time, electronic items at the Dollar Tree, like for electrical devices, I am not an advocate for, but these, and I will show you exactly which ones I mean, because they do come out with them from time to time whenever they change their color schemes up. But whenever they make this style, I scoop it up. And unfortunately, these, they don't have that little button. That's the only thing, because I like the ones that have the little button for the volume on the outside of the earbuds, but they never make them like that. These are the, I guess it's called the microphone. Is that what it is? But um, the fabric covered ones, you guys see that? The fabric covered ones, they last pretty much forever. My son forgets his headphones in his pockets and they go through the laundry. I've had these go through the wash and still work, believe it or not. Um, they're, they're actually just made, oh, wow. These actually have the volume this time around. What? I can't believe that. I was just, sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. But wow, these are definitely amazing. For a buck and a quarter, I paid a dollar and a quarter for these. They have like this new kind of cool, just multicolored dark print, graphic print on them. But they're amazing because the fabric makes them not break. I don't know how they don't stretch like they use. Because when the other ones stretch a little, they just break. They just break. But the fabric protects them from doing that. And they honestly last an insanely long time. My son has some of these. He loses them before he breaks them, which never happens with any other headphones. And I have actually bought my son. Now, here's the kicker. 
He's had Samsung headphones. He's had high-end headphones, and he breaks those as well. So the fact that he's had some of these for like six to eight months for a buck or a buck and a quarter, definitely thumbs up, guys. I got several, and I mean several, from multiple Dollar Trees of this notebook with lock, 80 sheets, because I think that certain teenage girls are going to absolutely choose these as stocking stuffers and love them. Good things are coming, dreamer. Look at all those spread kindness. Just so many cool positive affirmations. Loving it, love, love, loving it. And then look at this. You are a rainbow of possibilities. That's beautiful. I love them. So they're basically diaries for a dollar. I bought these when they were a dollar. Now, how do you get, wait a minute, wait a minute. How are you supposed to, it's locked. Oh, you have to take the key. Duh, Marina. <laughs> so let's see what they look like inside. I have to actually unlock this too. So you have the little key set and you put it in, let's see if it works. Okay, it, wow, see that? That is so nice. Really fantastic purchase for not a lot of money. And these kind of things in five and below are $5. Sometimes you get them for three, very rarely, five bucks for a diary. And for a dollar, I absolutely love these. Literally with a little lock, they are a fantastic little purchase. Girls love to have their little secrets and they keep their, they can start like a little secret book with their friends. And you guys know how girls are. They just love to have their little clicks and whatever. Cute. Very, very cute purchase. Absolutely love these. I picked up several and I usually do look for these and stock up on them when they come out with them. They're not, oh, they don't have these all the time, but they do come out with them at least once a year. I bought tons of the Renews it, snuggle, cozy, evergreen. I love how this smells. It smells like evergreen, but sweet. Like if you were going to have like evergreen pudding or something, <laughs> that's what it would smell like. Because it's not like that you, I don't know, it's like a sweeter version of the evergreen. And there's something about it that's so pleasant. It's, it's actually, I would like it if Snuggle made fabric softener that smelled like this so you could wear it during the holiday season. That would be such a great idea. I don't know why they don't do that. It's really fun. It's a really nice smell for Christmas time. Um, I did pick up the Camp Collection Mesh Ombre Tote Bag, and these are by Camp Collection. I don't know what they retailed for originally because these could very well have been a promotional item that Camp Collection could have been even giving away. Maybe they weren't selling it. Camp Collection is kind of, ex I mean, not expensive, but it's not a Dollar Tree type item. You guys have already seen this beautiful mesh tote. Everybody hauled it. Um, I found it and I was thrilled when I found it. I didn't think it was going to be coming to New York. Originally, when I saw this beautiful dip dyed tote, I saw it, I believe it was in California by couponing for a cause. And I was like, oh, we're not going to get that. And it's just a really cool tote. You could put your like bananas or oranges in here so they don't go bad and hang them on a hook. You know, that's great for grocery shopping and vegetables and stuff like that. But if you were lucky enough to get the Dollar Tree um, slippers, you know, the really nice ones that are like slip on slippers and the sunglasses and stuff like that, you can make a really good warm weather gift basket. Like if I was living in Florida, everybody would be getting that. Those Dollar Tree slippers that came in multiple colors, like the teal, the pink, black and gray, and one of these bags and some fabulous sunglasses, because the Dollar Tree gave us bounties of sunglasses this year, would, would be a really great little gift. And you could maybe put them all in here with tissue paper or put all of it in a basket. But I just could see that being like, or maybe some sunblock and that I just love that this is such a summer item. I'm sure people are going to use these for DIYs, all kinds of stuff, but it's a nice bag and really great with flip flops and summer products. So, you know, maybe don't even gift it for Christmas. Hold on to it in case you have friends or family that have birthdays in the summertime. I don't know, but I really love this product.
I picked up this super cute book. I'm probably going to send it to my nieces. I love, love this book. It says Solar Powered Showdown, a mystery with sun-powered gadgets you can build yourself by Science Bob and Nick and Tesla's. Now these, there's a series of books um, with these two characters in it and they're like kid inventors. So, and it says kid inventors, Nick and Tesla Holt have outsmarted Tesla, um, crooks, spies, and kidnappers. Now they have to crack their biggest mystery yet. Where the heck are their parents? And they're, inside the book, it shows you how to make different solar powered gadgets. So it's like a how-to DIY book with a story. These are really great books. I'm gonna send it to my nieces who live in sunny Florida, perfect for solar powered projects. I think they're gonna love this book and maybe they can use it for some kind of school project or something, but it's definitely a great, great book find for a buck. I did not pay a dollar and a quarter for this. I bought it a while ago. You guys know that my holes are backed up. Let's see how much this book is originally. Kids are preteen and those kind of hard covered books are nothing to sneeze at. $12.99 originally, definitely a good find for a dollar. This next book, when I looked at it, I was like, ooh, this is like something you could just put in your house for Valentine's Day. And it looks so Valentine's-ish, I think. I just absolutely love the drawings in the book and how it looks. It's just a beautiful looking book. It's hardcover. Advice for the Modern Woman, What Would Alice Do? Based on the original stories of Lewis Carroll. And then after I was like, maybe I'll do a DIY with it. I'll cut it up. Once I really took a look at it, I was like, I'm not cutting this book up. It's so adorable. So here it says, Alice getting ahead at work. And I love Alice in Wonderland. I do. I love that whole black, white, red kind of theme that goes along with it. Here it says, Alice on being a feminist. All right, let's see what Alice has to say about being a feminist. But look at how beautiful it's drawn. I just love the artwork in it. It's so, so cute to look at. I just like to buy books like this and read them and then pass them on. You guys know that. Um, so aim for the top. I don't want to be anybody's prisoner. I want to be a queen. Okay, Alice, I'm, I'm, I'm listening. I like that. Breaking through the glass ceiling. And here, look at the artwork again. I just love how it's drawn. Breaking through the glass ceiling. Let's pretend the glass has got soft little gauze so that we can get through. Why, it's turning into sort of a mist now. I declare it'll be easy enough to get through. So it's kind of like inspirational and empowering and adorable. Um, okay, here we go. Look at that, the Mad Hatter. And then this is all on Alice being a feminist. And there's multiple chapters in this zany book. It says, refuse to be judged on appearance. Your hair wants cutting, said the Hatter. He had been looking at Alice for some time with great curiosity. And this was the first speech. You should learn not to make personal remarks, Alice said with some severity. It's very rude. Okay, so I love it. I just think it's really adorable. This is like when she ate the pill that made her bigger or smaller. It says Alice on growing up. Curious to see what they're going to spin with this one. It says you may experience growing pains. Again, look at how pretty the artwork is. And then it says just then her head struck against the roof of the hall. In fact, she was now more than nine feet high. I could totally see um, buying this for a kid who loves the story of Alice in Wonderland. And I know some kids really love it. So I just think it's a really great book. I'm just going to look through all of it and I'm probably going to pass it on because I do donate books quite often. And I think this book is delightful. The artwork in it is really pretty. I might actually send it to my niece. Um, Alice on being inspirational. One more. I don't know. I just like it. Live your dreams. When I used to read fairy tales, I fancied that kind of thing never happened. And now here I am in the middle of one. How cute is that? Just really, really cute. I did pick up these super cute LED projectors. And one of them is Santa over a little village, which I feel like was the same one from last year. 
but I can't remember. And I can't find mine from last year. I think I gave them all away. Um, so I, no, it's, I don't think it is. Is it? No, it was different. It was like a different village. I'm going to put batteries in it and shine it in the dark to take a good look. And I also got the snowman one because I just could not remember if these are new or the same from last year. Comment down below if you have last year's and what they were because I feel like they're definitely, definitely different. But like I said, usually I do save my things or at least one to compare, but I gave them all away, I think. And they're not timered or anything like that or waterproof. You just put batteries in them and you per put you have to turn them on when you want them on. Here is the snowman. And I definitely don't remember that from last year. And let's take a look at the Santa with the reindeer one. This is this year's. And it's really, really nice. And I did dig up last year's. Let's see if there's a difference. Yeah, there's definitely a difference. And actually, there's also a difference in the actual projectors. Last year's is a push button and this year's is a slide button. But the picture itself is not as bright from last year. This year's, I think, is brighter. See, there they are. This year's is much more vivid. Last year's was like a cool light, a white light. And this year's is more of a warm, much more detailed, definitely more detailed in the projection. So I got a bunch of stuff for my son for gym because he does go to school, high school, and they do have gym. I got him the cooling post-workout face and body spray with eucalyptus and peppermint. Sounds good. And I figure I could get him to put that on when he's at school because he did need deodorant and stuff like that. And... I have actually, he likes using these. He actually will do them. So I picked up some more of them for like a stocking stuffer type thing. And I picked these up for him also. The cooling face body cleansing wipes with aloe and eucalyptus because it matches the spray. And because he does actually use these while he's video gaming. If he feels like his skin is breaking out, he'll use them. And they help. He says that they're helpful. So, you know. We'll see. His skin is starting to clear up. Active face body cleansing wipes with lemon and sage. Those sound really good. So I picked up some of those. Let's take a whiff. Let me see if they actually smell good. The other ones smell amazing. Ooh, yeah, these smell, these smell really good. They don't have the little door, but that's okay. I, I think that that's like a cute little stocking stuffer um, for anybody for that matter. Definitely good for like a teenage kind of stocking stuffer. Really good buy. I picked up some of this Old Bay hot sauce because I heard actually that it was really good. And um, Old Bay is a trusted brand name. So I definitely picked that up. I haven't tasted it yet, but I believe that it's good. I did pick up this Leaping Leopard Chicken Bullion. It is a huge, huge package. It makes 30 cups. Um, I... We actually are sensitive to MSG in my family, but actually a girlfriend of mine sent me a picture and was like, if you see that, can you get me a few? So I did. It is a great deal. And um, if you're not sensitive to MSG, it's a really great pickup, even at a buck and a quarter, 30, and it's a brand name. So it's at the Dollar Tree, guys. I picked up another one of these liquid gold, one clean home, multi-surface foaming cleaners. You guys, this stuff is incredible. I've bought three of them so far. Uh, it's a rebuy. It has a really nice scent. It's like citrus, grapefruit. It says grapefruit scent, but it's like citrusy. It cleans my table so well that I absolutely love it. It's like liquid gold. I mean, it's a great product. This is really expensive in the store. It's like $10 at Walmart. So to get it for a dollar or even a dollar twenty-five is a really, really fabulous find. Before the prices went up to a dollar and a quarter, I did pick up some of the pistachio jello. I happen to love pistachio anything. So yeah, whenever I see this, I pick up a box. This is kind of like a boring find, but um, actually it's really not. It's five ounces of Himalayan pink salt and it does have the shaker top. Um, I always buy pink Himalayan salt, but the other day I watched My Fairy Treasures 
um, Angie, and she was talking about all the benefits of pink Himalayan salt. And it just got me super gung ho excited where before it turned a dollar and a quarter, I stocked up on Himalayan salt of all shapes and sizes. I bought like a bag. It's somewhere around here. And I bought the shaker top just because it's convenient when you're cooking. But yeah, it's really great. And it's really great that we can get it for a dollar and a quarter or a dollar if you're still lucky enough to have it at a dollar still in your Dollar Trees. When I first saw these, I thought they were made by the same brand as the other uh, marshmallow cookies that the Dollar Tree has had around. But this is a different brand, it's called Maestro. So I don't know if anybody's tried them. They're fudge marshmallow cookies that are artificially flavored with strawberry. We're gonna take a look at what's inside this package. You guys know that I have to know what's going on inside the package. Uh, they might be, sm oh, they smell really good. So you get 12, and we'll eat this smashed up one. They they smell like um, jelly rings, which I happen to love. They taste like jelly rings. They basically taste like jelly rings, but that are fluffy, like air fluffy jelly rings. I picked a bunch of these up. My son has already taken the black and the blue, I believe. I definitely had black. I'm trying to remember if there was white. I don't think I had white, but I know I had a blue and black, and he's already taken them. I had hidden them because I wanted to put them in his stockings, but he loves clay, always finds it somehow and takes it. You get 6.7 ounces, and I think the colors are awesome. This, is, this stuff dries, it air dries. It's a nice piece of it, and you, kids absolutely love it. Teenagers, I mean, my son is a teenager, and he still loves clay. I did pick up some of the Olive Garden Signature Dressing, the three packs. My son really loves this, so I picked it up. Usually, I pick up a bigger bottle at Walmart, but they actually were out of it. And I picked up, I remembered the Dollar Tree carries it, so I picked it up at Dollar Tree. I also purchased some more of the 100% Acetone. You guys, this is actually such a fantastic deal. This stuff works so well by the brand Luxury. I really, really like this brand. And it's really expensive in the pharmacy. So when you can get it for a dollar or a dollar and a quarter, pick it up. But I actually stocked up on this before the prices went up because I always use it. These were, these were a mega, mega wish list item for me. I love picking these up every single season, every single year. And shockingly, they didn't do a red truck this year. The, usually every year, I, let me know if you guys have seen a red truck because usually there's three designs and there are three designs, but there's no red truck. They have this super cute save some cookies for Santa with this all over plaid. I totally love it. Absolutely adorable. You can save your cookies in here and pretend like you left them for Santa all at the same time and they won't go stale. And then I'm torn between which ones I like more. I can't decide. I feel like Known for the Holidays is crazy adorable. It really is, but so is Baking Spirits Bright. It's so, so cute. I'm really torn between the Baking Spirits Bright and the Known for the Holidays. They're both so adorable, but I think the Gingerbread Men win hands down. The Gingerbread Men were my nomies before my gnomes became my nomies, if you guys know what I mean. I love gingerbread everything. I just really think they're so adorable on this. And I bought a, quite a few of these because I like to use them year round, actually. I just literally put my leftovers away in them. I, 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 these are my Tupperware. And as soon as they get grimy, I get rid of them. So I picked up five of them. Um, of just five altogether. Another exciting item that I found that I actually paid a dollar and a quarter for because I just found it the other day and I could not wait to get home and show my husband. So I thought it was unbelievable. This is a Disney movie, you guys. Not a Greenbrier makes, it's Walt Disney, The Muppets Christmas Carol. I haven't seen it in a lot of years. I do remember watching it, but I actually love the Christmas Carol, the actual Christmas Carol with George C. Scott. And I remember watching this when I was little, but to get it for a dollar and a quarter, I snapped it up. And 
maybe I'll get the boys to watch it with me or I'll give it to someone, but it's just an amazing find for a dollar and a quarter. I have bought a bunch of these adorable bootleg caboodly, what the Dollar Tree is calling pencil cases. Now, of course, you guys saw the white ones that had the mirror in them, and these are not makeup cases. They don't have a mirror in them, although you can put one in or not put one in. It doesn't really matter what you put them in. You could literally turn this into a kid's fishing tackle box or jewelry making bead box or anything you want. They're just really a great little storage unit for a dollar or a dollar and a quarter. And I, of course, have filled mine with makeup already. And I'm going to show you guys some of the items that I have found lately at the Dollar Tree um, that I'm not necessarily gifting them. I just stored them in here so that they wouldn't get ruined. There's the pink one open. It's just so pretty, pretty, pretty. You can use your Cricut to embellish them. You can put jewels on these, stickers, whatever you want you could do. You could write on them with paintable markers. So many like paint markers, so many things you could do with these. Um, these are the three colors that I found them in, plus the white one that has the mirror. And um, I've actually been putting like lip glosses and things like that in them. I had found a few of these polishes and I think they look so cute inside of this one. So I filled all the ones that I have found of polish with that. And then I'll add other things in them like lip gloss and stuff like that for teenage type gifts. But yeah, isn't this polish so, so cute? It's by Hard Candy and it comes with a little ring. So I love that. Really adorable, pretty little stocking stuffer. I had shared these in a video some time ago. Uh, one of them is 264 Earl Grey by Rimmel. And word to the wise, they come right off the card. But let's test it out and see if it's a good product. I mean, Rimmel is a good brand. It says exaggerate eye definer. So let's see how good it actually is. To me, a good product in the eyeliner world, A, is not something I have to sharpen. I hate that. And B, is very soft. Wow, that's nice, actually. That is a really nice gray. It's not super dark, which I like. I'm going to actually try. Um, okay, so... It is really a smooth gel, gel liner, like you can see, but I actually just put it on the inside of my eye to see if my eye gets irritated because that's my true test. I've been wearing my Flower Beauty gel retractable pencil that I bought, uh, I believe it's called Galaxy, and I'm obsessed with it, obsessed. Um, I don't think I ever hauled the gray one. I don't even know what I did with the gray ones that I found by Flower Beauty, but this one is Earl Grey, and I like gray pencil, but I want to see if it irritates my eye. Then I have the cover. I didn't actually put any on today inside of my eye because I wanted to test these out. Then I have the CoverGirl Perfect Point Plus Eye Pencil. It's also a retractable pencil, which is the only kind that I'm willing to use at this point ever inside of my eye. I hate the regular sharpening kind of pencils. And this one is called gray khaki and it's of such a pretty color in the picture it's like almost like a green gray so if this works and it doesn't irritate my eyes i'll really like it as well i'm going to open it up right now and this packaging is glued nice and tight i really like um the cover girl eyeliner and the pencil how they're packaged the rimmel um almost every single one fell out of the card so that's very frustrating this is what the pencil looks like, which I like. The Rimmel does have a smudger on the bottom. I don't use the smudger, but it does have a smudger, and I know a lot of people really like that. I forgot to show it. See, it's like the little sponge. It's a nice smudger. Um, for me, it's neither here nor there. I just put it on the inside of my eye, and I don't want anything smudged. If it starts to smudge, it means that my eye is tearing and I'm allergic. So I hope that this one is smooth because... That is a really pretty color to put on the inside of your eyes. They're similar, but this one is definitely greener. They're actually very nice colors. You don't get really pretty colors like that often. Usually it's like blue or black. I'm going to test it out in my eye as well. Okay, so um, upon further inspection, I realized that the CoverGirl one also has a smudger 
Not that that means anything to me. I do not use it. I did put this, the green one is so beautiful. It didn't bother my eye at all. And actually the CoverGirl one went on just like the Flower Beauty one goes on. So smooth, it practically attacks my eyelid. It practically attacks the eyelid and just wants to jump on there. I did have to apply a little bit of pressure to the Rimmel one, which I think could be why this one did a little bit make my eye a little irritated. It's a little red, but this one worked really well. And the color is really beautiful. I really like it. So yeah, it's always good to try different things at the Dollar Tree that maybe you wouldn't normally buy. But when you get to try them for a dollar or a dollar and a quarter, I, I very rarely see myself passing up brand name makeup because I just love the idea of trying it out for just a dollar or a dollar for just a dollar and a quarter. I'm really happy to try out new makeup. Now this palette, CoverGirl palette, number 510, it's a cheek palette, I have to say has given me a run for my money. Everywhere I found it, I either found it broken or broke it looking at it. Like it's very, very delicate. Then Constance, my really good friend Constance, who you guys know, Butterfly Moms Creations and more, um, she and I were on the phone talking and she was like, it's true. Every single time you found that, it's broken. And so she looked it up and it turns out it has a lot of reviews that, um, which one breaks, one of them breaks more than others. The, I, you would think that it would be this middle one that would break, but it's actually this one that is mostly always broken or one of the ones on the end. I can't remember. I think it's the pinker one, but it is such a pretty, pretty cheek palette. It's like kind of everything you need. Um, unfortunately it says straight up, all of the reviews say not to take it on the go. If you manage to get it home, don't don't do much with it because it will break. So I'm not going to be taking this in the car or anything like that, which is something I do like to do. Um, it's number 510 and the name of it is Rose Nights. There it is. That's the name of it. And uh, I'm not going to be taking it on the go, but we can definitely take a better look at it. It's seriously a beautiful cheek palette. It's like three blushes in one which is what i love uh i'm gonna swatch it i'm just gonna swatch it with my finger but we can definitely get a good look at it it does have like it doesn't have a super creamy consistency it's very powdery it's definitely very rosy cheeked but i did try some of the rose on it's a it's a very pretty pink i i definitely love the brown bronzer type one <sighs> So this actually is a contour. So that is what this is. It's a rose blush, a highlight, and a contour. But I probably would blend a little bit of the rose into the highlight, and I would use the contour as contour and blush in one because I don't really like rosy, rosy blush. So we're going to swatch the highlight. See, I love that. I love that as like a blush color and it does have a little bit of sparkle to it, which is something I really like. And then we'll swatch the highlight and then um, we're going to take a look at a few other products that I found that were really fun hair products that I think are just a score at the Dollar Tree. So that's the highlight. I put it on literally overlapping the blush and it has really good coverage. It's practically covering I put it on practically covering the eyeliner and it's practically covering it. So it's definitely buildable, but that is a really nice highlight. I really love this CoverGirl palette, but I'm scared to take it out of the house, but I'll probably wear it in my next video and show you guys what it looks like. If you're lucky enough to find it, make sure to wrap it in a piece of paper on the way home. <laughs> Lastly, I want to share this super adorable sign that they have at the Dollar Tree. They have a bunch of different designs, but I just love the word believe. And I had been on a super crazy hunt for this for the longest time. And then when I saw these, I was beyond thrilled. I just love the word believe. I love these. The Dollar Tree seems to be coming out with them every season. And I'm loving them more and more every time. 
And I'm going to put mine on the easel, which you guys already know that I love this wooden easel. And I was thinking how cute it would be to just put a star up here. Wouldn't that be so cute? Then it's sort of like a Christmas tree, but not really. I think I'm just going to stick one of those wooden stars up here. I'm probably not permanently stick it. Maybe use like double-sided tape or something like that. Just to make it just a little cute Christmas tree-ish. But I think it's adorable. And for a couple, $2.50, a really cute piece of decor. I did actually pay a dollar and a quarter for the sign. Because that was my very first day of shopping in Dollar Twenty Five Tree since the price change. That was my first Dollar Tree visit after the chain. Now, the other day in my walkthrough, I shared that I found the SGX finishing spray again, and this was out last year. Great product. It is. It's a medium hold, eight and a half ounce can. I've used this product for a year, and I already like it. Um, it is a medium hold, so it has to be on a day where you want a little hairspray in your hair. Then, um, I also found more of the protective texture spray, and this is really good to spray into your hair when you're going to put curlers or a curling iron into your hair or blow dry it a lot. And it is seven ounces. It says an all hour humidity shield body and shine, and it's a great product as well. I've been using it for a year. So I picked up some for my girlfriend, actually, and she loves dry shampoo. My friend Kathy, she has really thick hair, and it's really curly, and she likes to get it straightened. So if she can get, like, an extra day in before she gets her hair blown out, she loves to do that. So she usually does try the dry shampoo. So I picked up quite a few for her. And this is Clean Slate Detoxifying Dry Shampoo, a great item to get for a buck and a quarter. All of these go for around $10. So to be able to get it for a buck and a quarter is an amazing deal. And these are, it says effervescent citrus scent. It says it eliminates impurities, cleanses deeply, and refreshes instantly. So to be able to get that six and a half ounce product that's usually $10 for a dollar and a quarter is a very good score. And you could put all three of them together or you could put, there's other ones that we have found over the last year. If you're lucky enough to still have them. I've managed to collect all of these over the course of the past year. And of course, here's my season's greeting sign that I love that I'm going to stick in the back of my friend Kathy's basket. We have the So Whipped Whipped Mousse, the Under Control Finishing Spray, the awesome dry shampoo called Clean Slate, which I love the Bodyguard Protective Texture Spray, and the Bounce Back Curl Perfecting Mist. Now, this is an amazing bundle of five items. I just want to quickly share these. I bought like seven of these before the price change because I use these almost every day. I wash them in the washing machine. They're by Essentials. I absolutely love them. Um, the Microfiber Dust Mop pad you guys know the fuzzy fuzzy one is the greatest thing the dollar tree ever invented for cleaning um pergo floors absolutely love that product and that's it guys that's all i have to share in this haul today i hope you guys enjoyed it um if you did leave a thumbs up and comment down below i do have a fundraiser going on for my friend constance butterfly mom's creations i'm going to link um a GoFundMe in my description box just in case if you don't haven't heard about it or haven't um, seen my past video I'm gonna put the link in this video as well I'm doing a fundraiser to help her out go read what she put in her GoFundMe so that you can know more about her situation and if you are interested in donating to anyone this holiday season Constance is definitely deserving at this time if you're looking to donate some money for the holidays please donate to my friends Constance's Go fund me. Um, and as always, guys, stay safe and stay savvy. Bye bye.